Okay. Um, I'll be honest. Last round of GAC. It's on YouTube. I've had it up on the pinned comment in the chat for the past hour or so. So if you want, go check that out. That's where it is. Um, preferably after the stream. But yeah, um, I did my two rounds, recorded them. So Hello there. Got a chance to catch Take it. a seat, Raw Zero, Raw or Raw Zero, Raw or Raw Zero. Thanks for the follow. Hello there. So we're up against uh, Pops the Best this time. So uh, let's see what they've got. Okay, so we're at GP disadvantage, 8.4 to 9.6. Uh, we're 60 Zetas behind. We're seven Omicrons ahead in GA. Uh, just doing the very quick math here. I think it's, what is it? 17 plus 26, is it? Yeah, 26 uh, total relics behind. Uh, 17 relic five plus is behind. We have actually got the same number of datacrons. That's why I've given us an equal measure there. The only thing is I'd say we've got more at the top end. They've got more in the middle. So yeah, it's relatively even keen there. And then when you look at the mod scores, they are ahead on all of them. So I can't knock it. We're going to have a tough fight on rounds in that regard. Galactic Legends. They've got everything except for Ray, so I could be up against Junior for all I know here. Um, I've got Kenobi, Sifternal, and Supreme Leader Kylo. And then finally, this is the advantage we've got. It's a big one. I've got Profundity and Executor. They have only got Executor. Neither of us have Leviathan. So that is a really big advantage. I don't know how they haven't got those ships, but uh, we'll take the pos we'll take the positives out of it. There's been a little shift around. <laughs> okay, first of all, let me just get this window ready. This is my defense. We've got Bounty Hunters up north. We've got Momothma, Qui-Gon, and Phasma First Order. Then down the south, we've got Adrad, we've got CLS, we've got Bam, and we've got Finn with Zori and Rose Omicrons. So, Honestly, I've tried basing them down south. We'll see if they do. Now, as far as this north wall, we were expecting Lord Vader, we were expecting Jabba, and we were expecting C uh, Grand Inquisitor. We were not expecting CLS. So that is a curveball. Then when we go down south, they have thrown another curveball. Jedi Master Kenobi was expected, but not on this wall. We've got JML, which was expected. We've got Supreme Leader Kylo, which was expected. And we've got Malgus. So they've gone extremely heavy up front. Which is pretty daunting. What I'm thinking is we've still got the tools to take this down. It's just not how I'd like it. So this was the plan how I was talking it through yesterday. I put Treyer there. Treyer isn't necessarily to one shot because obviously the Omicron doesn't affect Dark Side Galactic Legends, but potentially it could take out the sides. That's the theory. If it doesn't do that, we have got Slacker to come in and clean up whatever she can't take out. Now, GG versus Grand Inquisitor, we, we could potentially do GG on JML, but we've got Sith Eternal, so we're going to do that there. We've got Starkiller for Jabba. That's the one I'm a little dubious about for the fact that my Starkiller is a little different to the one on my main account, but fingers crossed we're going to be okay. CLS was a surprise, so I don't know what I'm going to use there, but we've still got a few things, so we could get through that. We're going to do Gas against Malgus. We're going to do JKR, JKL, Armour against Slacker. 
Let's see against JML. And then we're going to do a JMK mirror. But that means the bat wall, that is quite random. I mean, I don't know what's going to be there because these three weren't there. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to work that out when we get there. So, Officer as well could make the Slacker, uh, sorry, the JKL counter a little bit more tricky. But I think we're just going to have to go for it. So, one, oh, wrong way, two, three, four, and five. I don't know why, I feel like that might be good. Yeah, Malgus gets the best stuff, I imagine. <laughs> I don't feel like we need like a 15% cron here. So yeah, I feel like that would be all right. It does sound like being a little bit cute, thinking you can't get through it. I mean, this guy's got uh, six GLs and he's pl placed five of them. I feel it would be safe to say this guy's being cute. All right, we're going to go straight for hooks. Let's put that onto Raven. Give that to Luke. Stun them. And swap that. Go on, we'll put that on Luke. That calls JKR, so we're good there. Right, might as well go for Officer while that uh, buff immunity is there. Okay, that was strange. Usually the AI doesn't go for JKL, so that was a little bit random. Okay, so we lost the uh, Hoda, not great. Just base it for now. Yeah, thankfully they're still stuck on JKR. Uh, go on, we'll put that on Luke. Again, I'm putting buff immunity on it just in the sense that it stops him getting crit damage up and all those kinds of buffs. Pull the assist. There we go. 68. All right, that was a good start. So, we do JMK Mirror and then C on JML. I'm curious how low I can go on C. I'm pretty sure I can't solo it. Where's that cron? Hmm. Yeah, what might be enough? Um, that might be all right. Just just a little top up, you know. It's not something crazy. Just just a little top up. I 
Okay. So straight away we're going to put healing immunity onto Cat. We lose Kenobi. Uh, Karth armies? Are you talking about territory battles here, Jordan? Oh, Decrons. Yeah, honestly, the level 9s don't tend to matter for me. If I take a Cron to level 9, it's just uh, so that I've got the stats for it. Or I can re-roll certain stats or levels. Um, as much as I would like to ult now, I don't feel I need to, so I'm just going to stall a bit so I can get a full ult. Alright, JMK is coming up. There we go. And Cat's only a few away as well, so we're looking in good shape. Alright, bye bye, kitty cat. And then all we gotta do really is focus on JMK. cat work um are you talking about the force sleep like the insta kill or just in general because she's gotten it a, a pretty big kit essentially a second special she it's got a cooldown unless you've got Je uh, gen master kenobi in the team but gen master kenobi when you use hello there it uh, resets the cooldowns on any abilities so that's why you always target cat with it because it resets her insta kill which means she can go straight away and kill someone but it's also why Leia Organa is going to be good because she prevents cooldown manipulation so Kenobi can't do that every time after the insta kill is used though it's essentially just deals more damage the more you don't use it so um it's like there I didn't do too much but if I spend a bit of time not using it it would then have a really big damage It's why she used to be very good in the raids before. It's a shame the raids have kind of become <laughs> forgotten in that sense. Just the idea of one-shotting Shreya was fun. <sighs> yeah, I don't get the same thrill out of the crate as I did uh, Triumphant. Come on, we're nearly there, nearly there. All right. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing as well. I think with um, the raid before, you used to have that idea of, oh, you know, new things come out. Let's just see if it does something in the raid. And nine times out of 10, it didn't do much, but it was that little bit of experimentation of, oh, maybe it'll be good. I mean, I've said, I've been saying lately, I'm on my main, I'm doing the Tuscans as like a little side farm. And obviously it was for uh, Crate, but I'll carry it on because they're still going to be good in GAC. But it's a bit of a bummer that they've been nerfed already, shall we say. Okay, we lost uh, Kenobi, but we still get 62. So that's about what you can expect. All right, next up, JML. Got Sif Eternal. We'll take him what? Mm. We don't use that. Again, just something simple would be nice. That feels overkill. Defense and protection. It's not necessarily what C needs. He doesn't need defense. He doesn't need protection, but 
It's still survivability. Yeah, you're not wrong. I probably don't need a crumb, but it's one of them things where, with it being the front wall especially, I won't just play it safe. Wow. I don't know what happened then. All right. Um, put that there. Uh, hang on, hang on. Is this ability blocks? No, it, sorry, that was... Ignore me. I forgot <laughs> E-Flux came out. <laughs> I think I think the other week I got traumatised by a ability block cron and... Uh, yeah, every time I see ability blocks now, I'm thinking, is it a cron? All right, that's a uh, ult meter just... That's unbelievable, really, isn't it? Uh, all right, ult time. All right, bye bye what, I guess. I think that's the thing with the Tuscans. I can't help but think they're still going to be good in GAC. It's why I've got no issues farming them. It's just one of those things where it's like, did you really have to make them less viable as far as, or well, less useful? <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. Uh, let's just go there, I guess. I think Tuscans might be okay in 5v5 as far as if you haven't got the right thing for it, they could be annoying. I know you could say that for a lot of teams, but that's the way I'm thinking about building them. You know, it's like, I'd rather have them than not. Okay, 65. And then now we just got to gas this thing. No Bastler though. Go on, we'll have that. <laughs> yeah, I could agree with that. I can say, I haven't actually um, used Tuscans on offense, but I can imagine they are something where it's like, okay, if I have them on offense, then I know they'll beat this. Yeah, this GAC darts, this is the one we were talking about yesterday. He switched his defense up. Uh, let's do that. Uh, throw the grenade. Let's go there. I don't like how fast fives died here, I'll be honest. I know the game we are returned via that, but I think we gotta just accept the risk. <clears throat> All right, take a nap. All right, bye bye, Echo. Wow. Um, let's go there. Oof. Yeah, I'm getting slaughtered here. Rowlet nine as well. That ain't to help him. Well, at least he wasted that there. Damn it. Yeah. All right. <sighs> that ain't good.
Hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's why you farm the Jedi Cal stuff. You want Leia, but we'll go for Jedi Cal while farming the nose for the Leia tunes. Um, hang on, my music just stopped entirely now. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? It's alright with the website being down. I'm having to manually play it. Um, but yeah, I can understand doing something while you're waiting for Leia, especially with Drogon being a while off, so I can get that. Alright, let's bring this over. Um,. The plan was going well, but gas is out of the equation. My thoughts are, do we put Treya in against Malgus now and see if Slacker can start against Lord Vader? And then maybe... I'll be on some kind of put man in there for hoping for someone to answer there, but I don't know. Um, maybe I could do... Iden with Imperial Troopers. Trey can't do this. Right. So we'd have to slack a Malgus then. Okay, let's do it then. Let's just play it from play it by ear. Slacker was a flex unit here. It was something where it was like, okay, if we need it, we've got it. Let's do that. Arguably, I could have slackered Malgus and then add Gas as backup. But I thought with Bastler not being in that uh, Malgus team, we would have been in better shape. Uh, let's pass that to Slacker. Well, this definitely gets us through the south. Kind of a bummer, really, going this route, though. Okay, 42. So 477 should be the school. 478, I think I must have miscalculated one. Okay, so kind of looking like what was expected, oddly enough. Django. Uh, Qui-Gon and Mon Mothma instead of Embo. Okay. Yeah, that ain't a good Qui-Gon team, so we've got good chance there. Yeah, I think that's the idea, really. If you go for the... Uh, Cal stuff first. You essentially just biding time for those tunes to be farmable, aren't you? So I completely get that. It makes sense. Yo, 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 Tommy, how you doing? Okay, we got Sith. I'm going to repeat this just in case anyone missed it earlier. I'm not expecting this to win. I'm expect. I'm hoping that this will at least get the sides out. 
And we did use a good cron in the process, so sadly we're going to have to use this one. Um, but yeah, that is the plan. Get these four out and then clean up with something. We're essentially using normal Treyer. All right, Cyan didn't die. That's a bonus. All right, suck, suck, suck. Bring down the pain. I'm assuming he's a flex spot. Didn't know what to do with him. Uh... Let's just hit roll guard a minute. Don't want to hit uh, Thrawn. Ooh. Give me an AoE. Give me an AoE. Someone with an AoE, please. Oh. I know he's just, uh, we're not like dead or anything, but it's just that look of, come on, let me game. <laughs> uh, come on. Oh God, you're being a pain in the ass. Sucky suck suck. I'll take speed up. Come on, let me out. <laughs> Gotta go for the tank. Bit frustrating though. Okay, go for Thrawn. Let's do that. I'll buy hatred. One down. Uh, unfortunately, we gotta go for Lord Vader because Eighth Brother's been a bit chicken. All right, let's get him. Bye bye. All right, full auto from here. We can't win this, so we're just stalling at this point. We did get the four sides out, so hopefully we can time it so that uh, we've got a, pref a good cooldown. Just keeping an eye on the clock, and I'm also keeping an eye on what Love Vader's doing. <laughs> it is nice seeing us lap him, though, I must say. <laughs> Even if we can't win, it's still nice just seeing us uh, do well. <laughs> well. Yeah, duck. Let's just see, what is his cooldowns at? I could do with him doing one more AoE. Next one's got to be the AoE. Surely. There we go. Leave it. 
he will probably still take a turn. <laughs> he will probably still take a turn. But hopefully it's enough that, say, Imperial Troopers could do it. I don't know. Whew. If not, we got four banners. So, let's give it a go. Uh, no Gideon. That is beautiful. Defense just to survive any initial attack from Lil Vader. Uh, and then crit damage just so we can get him down as quick as possible. I just hope this works. <laughs> okay, not how I wanted it, but... We're still kind of in this. Same hero. There we go. That's it. Put that onto dark. Defense down is going to be big here as well. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that wrecked us. Yeah. Completely agree. We're done for you. further down and he has just used his AOE again I don't think I've got anything that can do it but he is kind of in a good position so it's I'd rather leave it there than just preload it Hoggle lead DDK we might have that I don't think I put Geo's down Yeah, fingers crossed I'm not out of luck. Let's just take stock of him. We got Iden for that. But do we do... Yeah, I don't think Iden can take out a full CLS team. <laughs> I don't know what actually we're going to do with CLS. Potentially we could Wampa. You know, I love how I start a sentence and then I don't really know where I'm going with it. I feel like Wampa might struggle against all three of these. This is probably the best shot, but not easy. Yeah, I've got Ewoks. Maybe they can do the, the Django team. There's a lot of speed on it, so maybe not. But yeah, it's a little bit irritating. Just while I've got a second, I'm going to see if this is... If any of this is coming back on with the internet. No, for whatever reason, it's still not loading. You know, usually I click on a website, bang, it's 
getting ready to load in, whereas not yet. All right, BLB folks, just go answer the door. Uh, yeah, this shack would use the for the JMK mirror. Maybe we could have used someone else, but uh, at the time, I didn't think we were going to be needing imps. I thought we got slacker for that. So yeah. Um... Geos. Poggle lead DDK, is that GBA as well? Curious who you leave out. <laughs> yeah, it's only because I wanted to try and use Aiden at the back that I left her. A gear twelve, she'd have still been all right, I think. Okay, so who's the geo you leave out? I'm guessing. Um, actually, I don't really know. Some fuck. not a counter I've actually heard much. Soldier you leave out. Soldier's got tenacity down. Yeah, to be fair, this whole thing's sus. <laughs> But I'm not using Geo, so it's worth a shot. Go on, we'll give it a go. Let's see what it's like. If I can't get through it, then they've got to try and beat my top. Okay, we'll do basics. Do that just so that brood taunts again. Come on. Get. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was trying to get to spy second and I'll, I'll admit I was being a little bit greedy. I want to get the exposed to try and then proc it. But the thing is, the exposed goes anyway. Uh, I don't know. All right, so we'll try and deal with the rest. Um, the priority's got to be the bat wall again. It's why I didn't use it either, because I want to make sure I got a mom off my clean up. The fact is, if they can clean my north, they've still got to take down my fleet. And I'll be honest, I left them all of it. So if they can get through it, fair enough. But we're gambling on the fact that because they've only got Executor, they've only got one meta fleet to take down my meta fleets. So, yeah, the priority is the back. So let's deal with this. Right, uh, I don't know if you're still here, Kit, but this is your moment to shout from the rooftops about Aiden. Uh, let's do it. Most impressive. I was going to say, don't wait on my behalf for uh, Aiden. All right, let's drop that. And that.
All right, this could get awkward. <laughs> it's just this bit of me thinking around. Let's just trap Big so he doesn't keep doing that with the turn meter gains. All right, he's dazed, so let's just go for Bigs. I just can't help but one game out. All right, we can death mark now. Boing, boink. Oh, you little git. <laughs> Cleansing it. <laughs> oh. You know, the biggest crime, I think, with Leia, and don't get me wrong, I like Leia's kit. I'm not actually moaning about Leia, but the fact they didn't give Lando a home, I'm like, come on, Lando is just homeless right now. And I know they kind of said maybe you could use Lando as Sana, but I feel like, come on, give Lando a home. If not, you got to give him a Omicron or something now. If, if they want him with Sana, give him an Omicron, so he must go with Sana. Just do something. Character as iconic as Lando, he needs a bleeding home somewhere. All right. Clean 65. We've got Qui-Gon, and it's not a great Qui-Gon, so we haven't got to worry too much about this. Um... In fact, I am going to be ballsy. Uh, yeah. What's a little gift? Um, usually whatever I'm calling something. <laughs> something that's been naughty. All right. Um... Let's do that. Let's just daze there. Actually, no, 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 we don't do that first. We do that. Basic. Check the team comp. Okay. Yeah, Jolie, you've got no, uh, you got nowhere to. I don't know what I'm saying here, but you got no hope there. <laughs> All right. Uh, go on, we'll do that. All right, that's poop. The double taunt's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give that to Alda. All in. We're getting somewhere now. Oh, wrong ability, but we can cope. Bye bye. Okay. Let's not make that anticlimactic. Let's go for Jolie so he doesn't bring him back for seconds. Just think back to the days of the JKR, JK, uh, JKR Jolie matter and thinking about taking him down with Ewoks. <laughs> and say so Jolie never looked so frightening back then. Okay, 61. Now, I might be mistaken, but there isn't any tenacity down in here, but I don't know exactly what the effects of burning could do. So let me just double check. Can't gain bonus turn meter. I think we do give me. Oh, you've got a fan in the chat with darts there, Jordan.
Let's do that, that, and that. Oh, hang on, no, we don't want all that. Um, Empire or Imperial Trooper, Gideon. There we go. Do the stoke challenge, that's re real tricky. Okay, not good for Ayla. At least we still got something with uh, Yoda. Let's do that. I feel like we just need to keep our health up a bit here. Let's do that. And that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. 36, bye bye, Django Want. Lots of evasion going on here. Uh, 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 uh. Right, bye bye, Django. Yeah, Fennec really wants mace. There we go, and basic. I'll take it, 58. Oh, uh, okay. Let me just catch up on what's been said. So Fulcrum or Skiff, they both have a triangle model with potential 27 speed, pick one. Um, Fulcrum, I guess? Okay. I mean, 25 is not bad. Obviously, 25 is like the barometer for a good mod. Uh, PSG, put like this, I've used them when I just want to kind of have an easy uh, career mode. <laughs> but that's the thing, it kind, of, kind of gets boring because I don't know a lot of French clubs, so it kind of gets boring just going to Rennes or Stad, Stad, well, Stad Rene, I think it is. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of gets repetitive with PSG. You can't argue the same here, but at least I know the teams over here. Um, okay, so... We can't do one per year, but... AC Milan. Very interesting choice. They are my Italian team, you know, if you... If you have a sort of like... Keep an eye on a club abroad. They are my Italian team. All right, we got Plo. That, yeah, I saw the score line. That was bad. All right. Where's this starting? I feel like every time I see it, Inter Milan versus AC Milan, Inter wallop uh, AC somehow. Okay, I can't ignore the taunt yet, sadly. Hang in there, Plo, I'm going to come and help you in a sec. Actually, let's get damage immunity on you, because you aren't a tank. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like AC have had a... I mean, obviously you had the league title a year or two ago, but in general, the last decade or so has been a bit rough for you. All right, back to boss. Uh, Bush even. <laughs> Wrong B. Come on, Pop-Up Alps is just getting basic after basic here. <laughs> Can we get an Alp him? Come on. Someone Alp him. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Oh, you dirty git. Taking out my bloody plow. <sighs> well, that went to hell in an basket. Just couldn't get Boosh out. <laughs> All right. So we're only taking out uh, two teams on this wall, it seems. Right, uh, GG. Yeah, I can't really say what went wrong exactly there. You know, it, it felt like it was working, then it wasn't. <laughs> could, it could just be mods. Uh, honestly, I'd have to check. I know I've had a good win rate on Tamim, but... I'm guessing it's not 100% based on uh, that. Plus, I think the tank you have is important. If you've got old Ben, that's massive. Sniper droid's fun. Wouldn't like to face one all the time. At least in its current form. But I did say it's uh, in the last round. I kind of wish there was more Separatist units. Namely, something to take over Noose if he's got to go with Trench. Just give us a unit that dies off repeatedly but can come back. I know that they might then say, well, hang on, you've got Droidica for that. And I think, well, okay, how about you give us Droidica for TW like we've been using? and then give us something else for GAC. You want Night Sister droids? <laughs> That's an interesting combination. I think the Night Sisters would take offense. You know, considering the droids slaughtered them. There we go. Oh yeah, I get you, like a zombie droid, I get you now. All right, CLS. Um, honestly, not a lot of great stuff at this point. We can have a crack with Mandalorians. And... There's a big and here. <laughs> yeah, I've got four. Asajj does. Maybe we could throw and throw on. I, I'm, I'm betting you could do something like throw on Vader and something like that, but let's just see how we get on here. Yeah, Thrawn's gone anyway. Oh, wow, Django one gone. Um, you know what? Let's just go for it. We've got four stacks. All right, we've got one Wookiee out. Uh, okay. I'm going to say, if anyone wants to come up with an insult for me back, feel free. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Let's do two. I'll get the two Anguish back. 
Yeah. Whew. That was a lot of damage. Okay. No, no, no. Not not a real insult. Um I don't know. I'm kind of trying to chip away at this. So I'm not expecting this to go through, for instance, but I'm thinking maybe it could just get me down a little bit more. Exactly, Jordan. Honestly, it's more I'm a moob than a boob. Uh, let's do that. And then stun, maybe? A uh, little too hopeful. It's nasty down is good. Plug A. Okay, so Han is going to counter here. Bring him back. I know that we got to try and time this right. There we go, got the taunt back. But we have got their leader out, which means I could possibly womp her. At this point, I'm just basic and praying. Oh, yeah. I, I thought Jupio would do that. <laughs> All right, like I say, we've got the leader out. So I know there's, a con there's something in this team that makes you not want to Wampa. I'm just hoping we can kind of get through it because there's no leader. It's a big hope. Uh, Dark Lord, what up? How you doing? Maybe it's that. There we go. <laughs> 36. Got through that in the end. So then it's just the two we can't take down. So I can live with that. It's, um, it's not great. Oh, game crash as well. But yeah, um, that actually came at a good time. So what was the score? 977? That's not too bad. Why's my light come on? Or has it? No, it hasn't. I thought I saw my light on. All right, so... I know I'm just cutting it off and I'm not logging back in, but we, we kind of know that I can't uh, do any more there. So we're going to leave Crimson. Oh! All right. What's the difference between an apple and an orphan? Um, honestly, don't know. <laughs> I'm streaming in a half done room. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say I'm, uh, I've got plenty of room for my green screen. That's the main thing that matters. <laughs> Yeah, I got a video done on the day as well. <laughs> like I say, I can put the work in. Um, <laughs> I feel like that's a future armor joke. I've been watching that a lot. I finally got to the new episodes. <laughs> All right, um, Tammy versus Vulcan. Uh, let's show you what they're like. And honestly, this is the most one-sided matchup in my favor I think I've ever had since the revamp of GAC. So uh, I've got 2 million GP on them. My Zetas are 211 to their 127. We've got four Omicrons on them. Um, 29 total Relics on them. 20 Relic 5 Pluses on them. Decrons, I'm not doing the numbers, but we are ahead. You can see the 13 to 1 on the 9s. Uh, we're about 124, not 124, 127, I think it is. No, no, no. 
we're ahead on the six top mods. I can't do quick math that easily. Uh, we're 41 ahead on the 15s. We're 20, no, 19 ahead, is it? Yeah, 19 ahead on the 20s and we're 17 ahead on the 25s. So honestly, I don't think I've ever been that far ahead on every school. So nice to see, I guess. Galactic Legends. I've got Jabba. Um, I've got JML. It says I've got C, but I haven't got C. That's just that I didn't edit that out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, they've got JMK, they've got JML, and they've got C. Okay, finally, ships. Um, yeah, that, that's wrong as well. Uh, they haven't got Leviathan, they haven't got Profundity, but I have got Profundity and Exactor. Yeah, I think I must have made a mistake there. Let me double check. I don't think they've got Leviathan. Because, yeah, they got a five star exactor. Yeah, so I'll just double check that, make sure I wasn't imagining it. <laughs> All right. So they've done one battle. They took two on my Jabba. Okay, so again, Jabba's getting holds. I'm really going to miss this Crom when it goes. I say it every time I see it. Um, but no, they haven't hit anything else, so that's something. As far as the south wall, no changes from the last round. We've got Tuscans, Atbar, Sorty, and Sana. So what are we facing? We've got Malgus of our own to face. Qui-Gon GG. Starkiller and Malgus, okay? Down south, we got an Atbar team, an Old Republic team, a Treyer with Savage Army, and we've got Momothma, okay? Yeah, it looks very simple. Um, actually, let me just bring this over just so you guys can see what we were expecting. And that is it. I didn't actually fill in the blanks. <laughs> um, maybe a little bit of change. Let me just double check. Was there something different on the south? Yeah, they put at bar lead instead of roll low lead. So not like the biggest differences, but it is still a difference. So, we're not expecting anything big at the back either. So yeah, we can actually go through quite a lot of these quite easily. Um, we're not going to do Wampa there, just for the fact that Leia going in stealth can be a bit annoying. So, I think we might do Wampa on Mon Mothma. If we can find her. There we go. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's land the ground. Biggs has got the day, so we're looking good there. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Raw. God, Raw again. Slam. Mon will get a revive in here. Yeah. <laughs> Just had to happen. Uh, 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 uh. All right, Lando down. Um, raw. Oh, 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 oh. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Let's just get rid of Wedge.
Oof. Slam the ground. There we go. I feel like someone's given them tenacity up. There we go. Bye bye. 78. All right, we're already ahead. I kind of want to try Imperial Troopers here, although I think that's a bad shout. No, I think instead we do Star Killer. I, I know it's overkill for the gear level, but I'm thinking, why not? I mean, up north there's Star Killer and there's Malgus. I wouldn't use Star Killer on either of them. Uh, Malgus, I do Gas, and Star Killer, I could do GG Droids. So, yeah, we should be fine. You know, I feel like I never do updates. I feel like I, I only ever do Windows updates, and that's just because they sort of tell me to do them, like, with when I restart. Makes me wonder if I'm just neglectful. <laughs> okay, let's go for Nihilus, because I really don't want this guy stonking me. Oh, boink. Ah, okay. I mean, if it tells you to do it, then it's best getting it done, isn't it? I have got FM23, but I've not actually played it a lot. I feel like I pick it up for a session or two and then I forget about it for a while. <laughs> All right, reach for the sky. So what's next? Maybe we do, so uh, not Sana. Um, Afra here. And I think I might just save Vader, do uh, HK. All right, so she goes, let's go for Princess Leia. Um, all right, we'll do that. Boink. And bo boink. Yeah, BC does do that a bit. I, I mean, I've got 64 banners though, so I can't help but think, even though it does hit you, it's probably not that big a hit, you know. You can recover from it. I think there, I just didn't give it enough time. Okay. What shall we do here? I'd like something that's really good for taking Nest out. I'm wondering if I could do something like this. <laughs> but then throw in these two as well, so that at least there's something tanky in the team. The issue's going to be that Sion's going to just taunt like crazy. I don't know. I'm probably being inefficient here trying this, but 
It's very rare I can try and pull out the uh, Sif Triumvirate. <laughs> Right, suck, suck, suck. Let's do that. Yeah, besides that, I haven't got um, OG Kylo Relic. So no, I haven't got uh, Scion built. <laughs> Alright, get that. I'm trying to get a tool back up set. Come on, just whittle down candy. Oh, 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 don't take out Nihilus. Don't take out Nihilus. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, go on, we'll go for mission. Suck, suck, suck. Come on, we're nearly there. I think it's Gear 8 Nihilus. Is it Gear 8? Yeah, Gear 8 Nihilus. <laughs> Hanging in there like a champ. Go on, I'll light full auto. If Zalbar can win this, I'm impressed. Oh yeah, he can't. Unless he somehow solos Nihilus. So yeah, that was fun. Oh yeah, I mean, to be fair, it should. <laughs> it's just one of those where Scion's just terrible on here. I think he's five star gear eight. I need to give him some attention. I'm trying to follow up the command shuttle, so he's getting shards that way. And as soon as he gets shards, I can probably afford to divert and give him gear as well. So the thing is, I know if I could have uh, Nihilus and Sign at gear 12, it'd still be a decent team. But right now, it's just not something I can do. <laughs> there we go. 58. Touch inefficient, but we got through the wall. All right, we've got Sorty, we got Bugs, and we got Aiden. All right, so we've used Wampa, so we need something new for Aiden. Uh, the Bugs, Night Sisters, uh, well, we could even try Vader. Sorty could be interesting. I think we've actually gone for similar. Oh no, um, I've got Lobot in my Sorty team, but that's about, oh yeah, Lobot and T3. Right, if I have Sorty, by the way. I'm wondering if we can do Vader. Yeah, that's the one I'd usually use with the uh, Fennec, but we don't need it. All right, so Merciless. Crush. <laughs> nice bug squatter. <laughs> 69. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if we do Night Sister that. Might be tricky. Actually, it might be impossible with Death Trooper. Um, what could we do with this? Gas feels like overkill, but it would do the job. Maybe we just bounty onto it. We got an insta kill so we can take out Aiden. Uh, 
Uh, go on, we'll get rid of the taunt. Alright, we'll throw them down. And that. And I can ignore taunt, so I'm gonna hit you. We'll just add some more grenades. Just get rid of the days. We adapt or die, fair enough, you do you. A lot of counters coming in here. They've got one hell of a turn mate train right now. All right, uh, bye bye, Aiden. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the guy who could permanently kill us. Get a taunt up. I've just realised I've gone for this count. Yeah, I did have Adrad. <laughs> yeah, I think I chose the, the difficult path here. I forget about having Adrad. He's been on defence that often. I mean, it works. That's the thing. You know, there's no arm in doing this. It's just kind of the longer way. <laughs> Should get good banners as well. Only way we get bad banners is if uh, they're able to get an AOE or, or something at the end. There we go, 65. Okay, so now we got sorty. Um, I think we do this. Oh, not that, uh, that. I'm thinking Hondo could ramp at worst. All right, let's just go there. Yeah, with the gear level, not a lot was going to happen there. <laughs> All right, so we just got to time this out now. Uh, go on, we'll capture. Just don't kill Sorty too quick, otherwise I'm going to lose Hondo. Oh, you... 61, I was going to say. <laughs> okay. So, top wall now. <laughs> Let's get the Bastilocron on. You know, I've said it for a while. CG really need to put names for Datacrons. That would make it much easier to know what you want. It's like, okay, this is my, you know, my 501st Cron. I know getting rid of Datacrons is the more preferable option, but that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> uh, your guild leader said too much of being a guild leader is stepping down. Yeah, it is a bit sad, that. I mean, you hear tale of it all the time, sadly. It's a tough role. Uh, 
Uh, let's do that. All right, I was going to say gas. You can stand up, man. Okay, we might as well go for Bastila while she's open. Just naturally, we don't crit her. All right, looks like gas will be taking a nap sooner rather than later. Thank you for getting back up and joining us, Gas. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, we're still stuck on uh, a tank. Oh, saying that not for long. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, we are ramping slowly. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. This is the tale of two gases right now. What it do? What do you mean, what it do? Uh, ooh. Okay, let's form up. Alright. Let's just get rid of them now. And get Armor Shred. Hopefully. Might not even need Armor Shred. I feel like this is saying like a song from the 90s, like, uh, Aga do do do. <laughs> I'm saying 90s, it's probably 80s, Aga do. Aga do do do. Punch pineapple shape my tree. <laughs> Never heard of that, Aranya. Never heard of that. And say, Wesker's from uh, Stoke. Hey, up duck suffices. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get the droids on. One, two. Ah, oh, crap. I need Newt. Newt. Magna. B2. And we can't crown it. My drink's gone. Back up. <laughs> Honestly, I can understand that as far as when you're able to step back, I can imagine it's a lot more stress free. I mean, for a spell, I wasn't in the guild I'm at in. Well, kind of. I was still in it with my main, but my free to play wasn't. And it was kind of nice on the free to play, not having to think about like guild instructions and all that kind of stuff, just doing what you want to do. All right, we need the target locks bad. Oh, Medi, yeah. Medi's good people. Uh, old Ben. You know, I think I'm gonna play the Force, uh, Force Unleashed again at some point, just for. See a bit of this Starkiller story again. It's been a while. Oh, Newt's to gone. Just keep hitting the target locks. Stay on target. Stay on target.
All right, Mari, you've got grenades. You've got some fancy down abilities. Don't get carried away. You're already dead. Yeah, exactly. I think um, th that was one of the key things about that game. Uh, even though it was the most infuriating part of the game, just the idea that you've got a character that is powerful enough to pull a Star Destroyer out of the sky, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Although I'd argue Cal Kestis can give uh, Starkiller a run for his money in some areas. Right. We've got so much. Jedi. The Jedi scum. We need music again. Sorry, the tracks are on replay, folks. Uh, oh, I've got Jolie in. I was wondering where he'd gone. Um, what the heck? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm going to say... I I would like to... Well, I was saying that. That was um, the alternate ending, wasn't it? He faced Luke. I feel like there's a, a joke there about Squad Arena. Alright, come on, basic. Uh... Oh, you little git. There we go. That's what you get fitting me. Go on, Yoda. Go get the droid. Send the droid. Sorry, was that meant to do something, B1? Why mess with something that isn't broken? It works, it works. Although I am stalling just a tad because I want Jolie to get in here. Uh, let's do that. Alright, 61. Stalker's one of those fun busted Legends characters of where you're glad it's Legends. Yeah, I think if he was in real canon, they'd have to adjust him a little bit. It's like how people were saying they wanted him to show up in Ahsoka. And I'm like, I bet you don't. I bet if you saw what they're doing not now canon, I bet you'd be fuming. You'd be like, oh, he's not as good as he was. I know, I feel a little bit bad for Ravona. Um, it doesn't help that a counter comes out next week. It's like, really? You didn't think it might be a bit weird releasing her a week before Mobius? For anyone who doesn't know, that's Marvel Snap we're talking about. But also, does, is anyone looking forward to Loki when that comes back in a few months? Well, I know we're still on Ahsoka in uh, the Disney Plus world, but... Uh, yeah, Marvel won't be too far behind. I don't feel like Starkill would ruin Cannon, but like I say, I think they'd have to adjust him. You know, you couldn't have it that this th th there's a guy who could throw Star Destroyers around and whatnot. I mean, the plan... Uh, Dave Filoni did have a plan that... Um, you'd bring Starkiller back as a Inquisitor, which is, I think, why people thought it could be that guy. So it wouldn't surprise me if there isn't something like that at some point.
Can we get rid of this bleeding taunt off mace? Um, banned is probably a strong word, but if people haven't seen it, I'd rather not talk about it, you know. <laughs> if you haven't seen a single episode, that's good enough for me. Essentially, someone speak up, and that way I know we're not talking. <laughs> the only reason I don't have, like, spoiler rules in that regard is just for the fact that I think people watch it at different times. You have some people who watch it in, like, bulk, like the binge. Some people watch it day release, so it's hard to sort of gauge where people are. I mean, I give praise to you for doing it because how Star Wars is, I don't think I could not avoid spoil. I don't think I could avoid spoilers in that time. I'd see it somewhere. Okay. Wow. <laughs> A level one ship. Okay. Um. We've still got a Hans Millennium Falcon to deal with there. So, yeah, we're a bit overkill here. If I'd have realised, I would have taken Prof off defence. Um, so, yeah, this is massive overkill. I'm a little surprised you haven't seen something about Bad Batch. Um, more so the finale. The finale had a big spoiler. So I'm surprised no one's passively mentioned that. And say, not everyone's opinions are the same though around you. It's actually amazing how much Home 1 gets wrecked by its successor. <laughs> exactly. It's pretty weird. Wow, we even got the ult. I didn't think we'd get the ult because, you know, I thought we were just going to time out. Well, going to win before it, but wow, 77. <laughs> See, those are the kind of spoilers we don't like around here, Adam. <laughs> okay, uh, what we're going to do, we got got some Empire to take out here. Let's do one, two... Three, four, five, I guess. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think that's been my mentality for a while with Star Wars. And I'm, I'm not like this with Marvel. I can usually wait a bit with Marvel. But when it's Star Wars, I tend to always try and watch it as soon as it's released. So, uh... um, yeah, so it's like... With the soaker, I've been watching it at 2 a.m. myself. You know, I don't mind because I stay up late anyway, so it's like. Honestly, I could be up at 3 anyway, so it's not much difference for me. But when it comes to, say, the Marvel shows, I'm not like that. I just. I'll watch them, you know, I'll watch them as soon as I can, but. They haven't really got to that point where it's like, damn, I need to watch this day of release. Probably the only one that's been like that was One Division. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I needed that. 
Yeah, I'm hopeful the Marvels will be good. I know people have got like a well, not people. Some people have got a vendetta against the uh, Brie Larson and whatnot, but. I didn't think Captain Marvel the film was bad, so I'm kind of hopeful for that. And plus, I did like uh, Ms. Marvel as well. It, it, again, it wasn't groundbreaking, but it was all right, you know. All right, one, two, three. I mean, I'm looking at that and thinking, can I just take something really squishy in? But <laughs> we should be fine here. Well, we wouldn't have any new Star Wars talk about. We'd all be still thinking uh, everything ended with the, uh, the Clone Wars. You got your first GL, Kreez. I, uh Which one's that? Who have you gone for? You gone for C. Very nice. And say, have you got his ult and all that? Or are you just actually on the unlock still? If that going to say, we were talking about C earlier. Um, how you can use him for take down gas. So that's a good option if you haven't got the ult. All right, clean 77. And that's why you do not go light on fleet. So yeah, 1837. I'm happy with that because they're going to have to be pretty efficient to match me. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but they'd have to be efficient. I don't think I've had a perfect week for a while, so uh, I will take that. <laughs>